Hello KCT 2025 aspirants, so here is an important update, KEA has finally released or activated the link for registration for KSA 2025 examination. So here is a detailed step by step process how you are going to do it, okay. So first of all, you should be knowing some important dates, okay. So the registration of and filing of application online will start or starting from 23rd of January 11 a.m. and the last date is up to 18th February 11.59 p.m. okay and one more thing the last date for payment of fees is up to 20th of February 2025. Now once this let us see understand what you have to do step by step. First of all you have to go to the KEA website or this link you can put okay in this link you can click and you can go to the KEA website. Now after that what happens? you can find UGCT 2025 online application so you have to click on this now before clicking on this make sure that you have these things ready with you what are these things that should be ready with you your 10th mark card to enter the correct register number you should have your 10th marks mark next ready with scanned images of latest photograph signature your photograph and signature in JPG format those images should be ready with you then keep the caste certificate or caste income certificate or 371J certificate NL, uh, NCLC to enter the RD number. So if you have, have any reservation then to get that RD number you should have these certificates with you okay any one of these. Now once you click on this what will happen? you have to click on the proceed to registration for new user okay many of you might if any dropper are there already you will be having registration so you can just fill the application form but those students the fresher 12th students who are going to appear in this exam for the first time they have to proceed to registration for new user you have to click on this link now once you click on this link enter all the required information in the candidate registration form mobile number create password and upload photo and submit okay so this is only the registration part not the filling of application okay so what for registration what all things you have to do you have to enter your mobile number you have to create a password and you have to upload your photo and submit now otp will be sent to the candidate registered mobile number hence candidate has to provide their mobile number only okay so your number which is there with you or your parents those use only those number don't give your friends relatives number who are not uh, uh, who are not uh, near you because uh, all the updates OTPs will be given to that particular number okay so use your personal or your family members number only next once you have registered after successful registration candidate will receive an application number this is very important and user ID to their registered phone number and also same will be displayed on the screen. So your application is over so you will get one application ID and you will be getting one application number and user ID. Okay, password is something that you have created. This will be given to in your phone number as well and it will be displayed on your screen also. Next click on the proceed to log in for registered users okay so now what happens now you are already a registered member so now you are not a new user your registration part is over so now you have a registered user so now to fill the application form you have to click on proceed to login for registered users okay you can see the difference here what was there here here was proceed to registration for new user okay now already you have done the registration so proceed to login for registered users okay now login by using the user id that was that is given to you password and by otp or by face recognition okay so you have to log into that complete the applic application details tab wise one after the another there are tabs in which you have to fill the application form so you have to do it so what are the tabs there general details then eligibility reservation study details nri ward course details so whatever things are there in the tab wise you have to fill it in that way next what happens then take the draft to print out carefully verify the entries pertaining to reserved category annual income rd number study in Kannada medium study in rural area special category etc if any changes are required log in through otp or by face recognition and modify correctly if no changes to modify select declaration and proceed to payment so once you have saved everything you have uploaded your uh, 
application form okay you can download you can draft it is now in the draft mode okay so you can just take a uh, save the application you can check every detail each and every detail should be verified one or two times they are very very important so now once this is done okay once this is verified and if you are satisfied okay all everything is correct then you can go and click on the proceed to payment okay select declaration and proceed to payment but if you find that something you entered wrong because these numbers are very very critical suppose for example for 10th board and all you need your sats number if you in if you uh, put that in the wrong way okay then definitely you will not be able to the KEA will not be able to retrieve your 10th results or 12th results right so that is why you will be disqualified in that case so make sure that all the RD number SATS number you are entering it correctly now coming to login by using the user ID and password select the payment gateway and pay the fee so which is the way in which you want to make the payment select that particular gateway and you have to pay the fees take the final printout along with the claim certificate or claim details okay online filling of application form is stated to be completed once the candidate is undergoing all the above stages without fill okay so once you have made the payment and everything you will get a final printout along with the claim certificate and the claim details so whatever reservations whatever claims you have made that claim certificate will be there with that you can take the final printout okay so that's all in this process and if you have any further doubt please put in the comment section we will definitely address to it okay and students do not worry we will be very soon coming up with a live video where i'll be telling you how exactly you need to fill your application form okay so see you soon and please do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such updates